K-means clustering, traveling salesman problem, graph coloring. These are known as some of the hardest problems that complexity theorists have dealt with for decades. But what these people truly forgot to mention, fellow classmates, is how hard it is to get to where you are today. Congratulations, class of 2021, you did it. You are graduating from the University of Waterloo Faculty of Mathematics, and you should be so proud of the incredible feat you've accomplished. To say that the past few years have been difficult is an understatement. The world tested our strength and resilience in an uncountable number of ways, including surviving both in-person school and online school. Yet, here we are coming out of university with an unmatched set of skills like no other graduating class before. For one, you learned how to take good notes on physical paper, as well as good notes digitally. You learned how to ask for help, regardless of where your peers or professors may be located in the world. You learned effective studying skills and may have even developed the ability to consume knowledge at two times speed. All extremely impressive skills to have. Fellow classmates, we are part of a special moment in history and the digital format of this convocation is a testament to why we should be even more proud of ourselves. Together, we have grown, we have adapted, and with hope on the horizon, I have full faith that we will continue championing forward. They say that a convocation speech is supposed to bring together a graduating class one last time. So while we're all gathered here today, I figured it'd be fun to make one last trip to our favorite buildings on campus and recount the valuable lessons we learned along the way. So without further ado, let's head over to DC. Davis Center taught me pain, but in the best way possible, of course. They say that no pain, no gain, and that couldn't be more true here at the Davis Center. With every exhausting study session at the library came newfound knowledge. With every exam taken came strengthened perseverance. And with every headache over a grueling assignment came a feeling of satisfaction so powerful and glorious once you finally figured everything out. What DC taught me was to be comfortable with being uncomfortable, to not be afraid of seeking situations outside of your comfort zone, because you never know what cool things you might discover about yourself or the world around you. And who knows? You might even stumble upon an unattended box of pizza along the way. Cool, so now that we're done with DC, we can head over the field onwards to M3. Mathematics 3 taught me patience. To me, M3 is a reminder of our humble beginnings, of where it kind of all first started. After all, it was the home base of orientation week where we all suffered through the Waterloo heat under a giant pink tie. When I think about my first few days at Waterloo, I immediately turn to Math 135, being absolutely clueless. Proofs in particular were my enemy. By way of contradiction, if and only ifs, could not be me. Fast forward five years, and even up until the last exam of my undergrad, I am slapping those QEDs at the end of my proofs with full-fledged confidence. Not even the principle of mathematical induction can hurt us now. The lesson to be learned here is to be patient with ourselves. We all start from somewhere, even the experts, and now once again, we are embarking on a new chapter of our lives, a new mountain to climb. But no matter how far you go or how high you climb, never forget where you came from. It's what has helped make you who you are today. And with that, we can finally head over to my favorite building on campus, MC. Mathematics and computing taught me Love. Aside from having the best Jamaican patties and comfiest couches on campus, what truly makes MC so special is by far the people. It's the people who aren't afraid to showcase their love of learning and problem solving. People who organize fun events both in person and online. And even people who to this day compete with one another on Piazza to see who could be the most helpful, which I think is super awesome. There is just something so endearing about the culture of our faculty, be it our universal love of memes, our affinity for learning, or how willing to help everyone is. I absolutely love it all. Class of 2021, 
I hope you will continue to love what you do and embrace who you are because each and every one of you is so special and talented in many ways. And I'm incredibly excited to see where you will all end up next. And with that, our tour has come to an end. MC, M3, DC. One taught me love, one taught me patience, and one taught me pain. Now let's take a moment to thank those who are so amazing. To the convocation organizers, thank you so much for putting together this event. To the faculty and staff, TAs, Alice and Bob, thank you for playing a pivotal role in our learning experience. Thank you to the friends and family along the way. We literally could not be here without your support. And thank you, Class of 2021, for finishing this journey together with me. It's been a blast. I'd like to close my speech with a special piece of poetry that I've carried forward with me since my first days at Waterloo, but I've added my own special twist to it. And it goes something like this. Sign, sign, cosine, sign, 3.14159, one plus one equals two. Congratulations, Mathies at Waterloo. We did it, woo!